Hey everyone, I'm Zeke, and today I want to talk about a topic that is very near and dear to me, clipping and weaving. This is part of my Healer Leftover series, in which I talk about healing concepts that don't always make it in the guides, but are still very important. In order to talk about clipping and weaving, I first need to explain a bit of the underlying structure of Final Fantasy XIV. Most of your actions have a shared recast time, which is called the Global Cooldown, or GCD. The length of the shared recast time is displayed on all of your GCD actions. There are a few ways to identify which actions are GCDs. One way is to use a GCD action. Whenever you use a GCD, all of your other GCDs will go on cooldown for a few seconds because they all share the same recast time. For example, on White Mage, Glare, Cure 2, Aflatus Rapture, and Medica 2 are, are all GCD actions. Whenever you use one of these spells, you can't use another until your next GCD window. Another way to identify GCD actions is to look at your tooltips. For healers, every GCD action is classified as a spell. In addition, all these actions share the exact same recast time. For me, this recast time is 2.4 seconds. For most healers, this recast time usually sits between 2.35 and 2.5 seconds. While going through these abilities, you may have noticed that not only do they have a recast time listed, they also have a cast time listed. So what's the difference? As I said earlier, recast time is the amount of time you get locked out of doing another GCD after performing a GCD. Cast time, on the other hand, is the amount of time you need to stand still in order to cast a spell. Let's go through an example. White Mage's main two damage tools are Glare and Dia, which are both GCDs. Glare has a cast time that is equal to its recast time. In my case, a 2.4 second cast time means that I need to spend 2.4 seconds casting Glare in order to use Glare. A 2.4 second recast time means I need to wait 2.4 seconds after starting my Glare cast to use another spell. In this case, since these times are the same, when I finish casting Glare, I'm immediately ready to cast another GCD. Dia, on the other hand, is an instant cast spell. This means that as soon as I hit the Dia button, it hits my enemy. However, just because I'm done casting doesn't mean that I can use another GCD. After all, the recast time on Dia is still 2.4 seconds, so in this case, I need to sit around and wait before casting another GCD. If you think about your GCD in terms of a window of time, an ability's cast time determines when during that window the ability actually goes off. Glare, for example, goes off at the end of the window, while Dia goes off at the beginning. Other abilities, like Cure 2, have a cast time that is not as long as your GCD length. These abilities go off in the middle of your window. Regardless of when the abilities actually go off, however, you can still only fit exactly one GCD into each window. However, not all actions are GCDs. There's another class of actions, which we call OGCDs, or off-global cooldowns. These actions break the rules that GCDs abide by. You can identify OGCDs in a similar way to GCDs. When you use a GCD action, your OGCDs do not go on cooldown. In their tooltips, you'll notice that they are all instant cast, and furthermore, they're all categorized as abilities, rather than spells. Each OGCD generally has its own unique recast time that isn't shared with any other ability. For example, a size is an example of an OGCD, and it has a 45 second recast time. This 45 second recast time means that you can't use a size for 45 seconds after using a size, but it doesn't lock you out of doing any other actions. This 45 second window is only for a size. So how do you use OGCDs? Well, for starters, you can use them pretty much however you want, as long as you're not already busy with another action, like casting a spell. For example, you can cast Glare, use a size, and then cast another Glare. What we've done here is inserted an OGCD between two GCD windows. What this does is it pushes the GCD windows apart. However, this isn't necessarily what we want to do. For all classes in this game, there's a notion called keeping the GCD rolling. Remember how whenever we use a GCD, all our other GCDs go on cooldown for a few seconds? In a sense, these GCDs spin as you're waiting for them to come off cooldown. It's considered good practice to always keep these global cooldowns spinning. Ideally, in every fight, we want to get out as many GCDs as possible. If at any point our global cooldown stops rolling, we are delaying future GCDs. Instead of us waiting on the game to let us use another GCD, the game is waiting on us to use a GCD. Unfortunately, the strategy I've outlined of sandwiching an size between two glares causes the GCD to stop rolling. Remember how I said that since glare has the same cast time and recast time, as soon as you finish casting glare, the game is ready for you to pick another GCD? Well, in this situation, you've picked a size as your next action, which is not a GCD. 
So, during the entirety of the Assize animation, the game has been waiting on you to pick your next GCD, which is Glare. This can be problematic. Let's say you have a GCD length of 2.5 seconds, and you're in a raid where the boss is going to die exactly 10 seconds from now. This means that you have time for four GCDs before the end of the fight. Let's say that you are planning to fill all four of these GCDs with glare. If you sandwich in a size between two casts of glare, you delay all the GCDs that come after it, which in this case means that the boss dies before your last glare cast hits him. So instead of getting four casts of glare off, you're now only getting three. This phenomenon, where you delay your GCD actions in order to squeeze in an off GCD, is called clipping. As you can see here, clipping can cause you to lose GCDs because it stops your GCDs from rolling. Generally, losing a cast or two to clipping isn't the end of the world, but in a long fight, clipping can cost you many GCDs, gimping both your damage and healing potential. But thankfully, I have good news. It's entirely possible to use OGCD abilities without delaying your GCDs. Remember our friend Dia from earlier? Dia is awesome because it's an instant cast spell. Because there's a discrepancy between Dia's cast and recast times, after we used it, our GCD continues to roll for a few seconds. In the meantime, we can sneak in some off-global abilities. The discrepancy in time where we can sneak in these off-global abilities is called a weave window, and the actual usage of an OGCD during this time is called weaving. Weaving is awesome because it allows us to use GCDs and OGCDs simultaneously. Clipping, on the other hand, forces your GCDs and OGCDs to go one at a time. Weaving is efficient, while clipping isn't. Let's go through an example where we try to turn clipping into weaving. In this example, we have three OGCDs to weave, which are Assize, Lucid Dreaming, and Divine Benison. Currently, all three of these OGCDs are between cast of Glare, so they're all causing clipping. However, we have two instant cast here, Dia and Regen. Let's suppose we weave Assize with Regen, and Lucid Dreaming and Divine Benison with Dia. By reorganizing our rotation to utilize weaving instead of clipping, we're able to save time. Let's take a look. On the left side, I'm weaving efficiently, while on the right side, I'm clipping. Notice that I finished doing the same number of actions on the left several seconds faster than I do on the right. Pictorially, we can see this time save as well. We can skip over the places where I used to clip. When we add this time back together, it's almost enough to give us an entire glare cast. You'll notice here that we weaved one ability with regen and two with dia. The first case is called a single weave, while the second case is called a double weave. Is it possible to do a triple weave or weave in even more abilities? Unfortunately, the answer is no. While the tooltips of these abilities indicate that they have an instant cast time, in reality, we have to endure a bit of animation lock while using them. This animation lock is approximately 0.7 seconds, although it gets longer with the more ping you have. For example, if you have 100 ms ping, this animation lock will be about 0.8 seconds. A single weave will take you about 1.6 seconds, while a double weave will take 2.4 seconds. Note here that we need to include the animation of the instant cast spell we use to weave our abilities as well. However, if we were to try and triple weave, this would take 3.2 seconds, which is longer than our GCD length. A triple weave is actually just a double weave plus a clip in disguise. The first two OGCDs don't delay your GCD, but the third one does. So now we know that we can at most double weave if we have an instant cast GCD to help us. Conversely, we know that if we have a spell whose cast time is as long as its recast time, we are completely unable to weave without clipping. However, there are some spells that occupy the middle ground. Chief among these is Astrologian's bread and butter damage spell, Malefic 4. Malefic 4's cast time is about 60% of its recast time. This means that the weave window after Malefic 4 is about a second long, which is enough time for a single weave, but not a double weave. Since a lot of your casts on Astrologian are Malefic 4, this means you have a lot of opportunities to single weave, but not a lot of chances to double weave. For Astrologians, it's generally better to spread your OGCDs out so that you can single weave comfortably, while well, if you're playing White Major Scholar, you should try to weave your OGCDs in pairs since your weave windows are typically larger but further apart. Overall, clipping and weaving describe how your OGCDs can interact with your GCDs. In general, weaving is always preferable to clipping as it generally allows you to squeeze more GCDs into any specific fight. However, off-global abilities, especially healing ones, can be really powerful. Sometimes situations arise where it's necessary to clip OGCDs like Benediction for safety or convenience reasons, and this is perfectly okay. 
For a lot of healers, optimizing your weave windows can be a great way to push out more DPS, but the degree to which you optimize is completely up to you. For speedrunners, this could mean trying to go an entire fight without clipping. For people in early prog, on the other hand, healing timings can be incredibly important, possibly to the point where weaving is an afterthought. Chances are, you're somewhere in between, so try and figure out what level of weaving is right for you. As always, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. Maybe you'll see them incorporated into my next episode of Healer Leftovers.